Last year, I read the books Parable of the Sower and Parable of the Talents by Octavia E. Butler. They were sort of uncomfortable reads, um, not because they weren't good, they were very good. Uh, but in them, uh, Octavia E. Butler imagines the emergence of a new religion called Earthseed. Um, she imagines it around 2025, 2032. So around the time we're living in now. However, she wrote the books in the 1990s, 1993 and around 1998. And in the books, she not only imagines this new religion taking root, Earth Seed, but she also imagines that in the United States, not only is there mass devastation because of climate change, but also that a new president, a tyrant arises. And he arises on a wave of Christian nationalism and on the um, tagline, on the slogan, Make America Great Again. Yeah, she predicted it nearly 30 years before it happened. Um, the book has a lot of interesting things to say, uh, both books do. Um, but what I want to read today is actually these little sort of aphorisms, short poems that are a part of this book. They are part of what makes the sort of scriptural texts of Earthseed, this new religion. And for Octavia Butler, they were also ways of expressing her thoughts on philosophy and religion. So I'm not going to read all of the short aphorisms or poems, but I'm going to read a selection of the poems from these two books uh, by Octavia E. Butler. Belief initiates and guides action, or it does nothing. Your teachers are all around you. All that you perceive, all that you experience, all that is given to you or taken from you, all that you love or hate, need or fear will teach you. If you will learn, God is your first and your last teacher. God is your harshest teacher, subtle, demanding. Learn or die. Beware, at war or at peace, more people die of unenlightened self-interest than of any other disease. Partnership is giving, taking, learning, teaching, offering the greatest possible benefit while doing the least possible harm. Partnership is mutual symbiosis. Partnership is life. Any entity, any process that cannot and should not be resisted or avoided must somehow be partnered. Partner one another. Partner diverse communities. Partner life. Partner any world that is your home. Partner God. Only in partnership can we thrive, grow, change. Only in partnership can we live. To make peace with others, make peace with yourself. Shape God with generosity and compassion. Minimize harm. Shield the weak. Treasure the innocent. Be true to the destiny. Forgive your enemies. Forgive yourself. Choose your leaders with wisdom and forethought. To be led by a coward is to be controlled by all that the coward fears. To be led by a fool is to be led by the opportunists 
who control the fool. To be led by a thief is to offer up your most precious resources to be stolen. To be led by a liar is to ask to be told lies. To be led by a tyrant is to sell yourself and those you love into slavery. And finally, respect God. Pray working. Pray learning, planning, doing. Pray creating, teaching, reaching. Pray working. Pray to focus your thoughts, still your fears, strengthen your purpose. Respect God. Shape God. Pray working. <laughs>